Hello Internet, it is I the Roshi and I'm back with another reaction. And this time, it's more Genshin Impact music, baby! Today it's Ajdaha's battle theme. I'm gonna be listening to all phases. How this is gonna work is that I'm gonna listen to all of it in one go. Probably comment here or there, there will be no pausing. And then at the very end, I'm gonna spill my guts and how I feel about it. I'm not gonna get very technical. I don't really do that with music because I lack the vernacular and all that stuff. I hope that was the right word. Anyway, I'm gonna be talking about the feelings it gave me and what it makes me think about for the most part. So be prepared for nothing too technical. At the same time, you're gonna hear my two cents. Last thing before we continue is that I woke up this morning and my throat wanted to kill me and that's why I sound like a gravelly, rusty trash bucket trying to do gymnastics. My apologies. Anyway, let's get into this. I gotta turn this up. There we go. I wonder if there will be any other motifs in this. Not that I would know. Wow. <laughs> Wasn't expecting any vocals, but here we are. This feels incredibly, like, all over the place, but not in a bad way at all. The sudden stops?
these themes that I've listened to so far, which hasn't been a lot, but they're all so very different from each other. Wow. Jeez, okay. I was wondering if we were going to get any hints of like that Chinese vibe, those instruments in this. Goodness. They have a lot of nerve ever deciding to end any of their songs that they make. I'm... I'm rather peeved. In a good way, I suppose. Sorry, I don't know what I'm saying. I love, absolutely love the way how they combine classical instruments and just classical styles with more new age instrumentals with the electric guitar and, and synths and, and th things like that. That was fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Oh man. In the beginning, it had that very quiet, ominous approach. A lot of mystery to it. Similar to how I felt when I listened to the Scaramouche battle theme. That also began in a very slow, kind of like wandering sort of way once again like approaching some ruins or a mysterious place or an ominous place um or possibly something getting closer to you even such a cool feel and then there was a sense that i had from listening to this especially in the beginning they had these horns 
and something about how they were played it almost felt heroic yet i know this is a boss battle theme and not necessarily saying that this guy is evil maybe corrupted maybe uh different points of views things like that so i i don't really know the context but there was a hint of like maybe a time before to whatever this currently is and there's that kind of there's that duality or that reminder that this opponent that you're up against wasn't always this way or maybe they technically come from a good place but things have changed and now they're carrying out whatever it is that they're currently doing which then brings in the more ominous and harsher sounds that's not the right word it's not harsh not harsh on the ears but just kind of like th threatening the sudden pauses and like the horns and the flute and the strings just like suddenly coming back and it, it sounded once again like very f like disney fantasia in a way and i mean that in a great way because you know that sounds good when it gets all orchestral like that the choir sounded very different compared to other choir that we've heard it's probably in latin i wouldn't be surprised if there was some chinese in there that i just didn't pick up on okay so i found chinese lyrics for the second phase and them translated here this reads long ago in the field of stars expelling the dark shadows now lost in the mountains and wilderness with no way to go show yourself since you left this country has fallen into a terrible state. Hatred, sorrow, and grief accumulate day after day, panicking and not knowing where to go. I embark on the treacherous journey ahead. It's time to return. The steep rocks and mountains withstood the test of time. Thousands of rivers rush rapidly, seemingly swallowing the sky. But even if mountains fall and the earth tremors, how can the evil which caused all this be eradicated? Fate, lonely and wandering, trapped in such a harsh place. There is no way out of this miserable generation. The mountains are precipitous and lush, hiding the path that diverged between you and me, recounting how I had lost my way and wandered away from you, engulfed by the shadow of a mountain ridge i mean this sounds like a rough relationship of sorts where there was a bond between ajdaha and another person i'm assuming it's zhongli once again don't really know the context but maybe ajdaha is blaming zhongli for something uh they were they were once close zhongli kind of left ajdaha is like upset feeling abandoned feeling left alone and and panicked because Zhongli did his thing. Ajdaha probably doesn't agree with those choices that were made. And now Zhongli returns and Ajdaha's like, you really think you can fix this just by showing up? Like, you burnt our bridge, dude. I don't know if that's actually what's going on here, but it seems like there's an issue with time. Something had happened over time and now things are different. And, uh, you know, that's why this fight's happening some wrong is trying to be righted or some relationship is trying to be restored in some way but that's just what i'm grabbing from these lyrics here and the overall feel of the song uh and that ending or the the last phase rather where you have that electric guitar come in and and just before that and and around it too like it's all mixed it's all wonderfully mixed right you have that that chinese influence with the traditional instruments being used and that that vibe in general and i'm wondering is that just because this takes place in Liu Wei, or was that actually a motif of zhongling's theme because i haven't heard his theme in a long time and i'm wondering if that was just a bit of that in there if it was Liu Wei in general is it pretty much the same because i'm 
I, I think Zhongli is the Archon of Liu Wei, I'm pretty sure. But if, if Zhongli, if this is about Zhongli and they're talking about Zhongli leaving, then I don't know. In my gameplay right now, I'm literally like two steps away from walking into Liu Wei. Uh, I know you guys are watching my playthrough and if you are, thank you so much. Um, but you're seeing things that have happened like a month ago. <laughs> uh, the Mondstadt story is essentially, well, I won't say, I shouldn't say finished, but the prologue is complete at this point in time. Uh, so, man, I feel like this was a good time to look at this. Anyway, I love the feeling that this gave me. This was very unironically epic, and I do want to continue reacting and just listening and just feeling out these these the soundtrack from Genshin Impact especially the boss themes and I will be doing more of that at some point in time however I do want to experience a lot of stuff in game first but I had to jump into this one because a lot of people recommended it I also want to say in the past in my version trailers just so I don't get completely called out I'm aware that I sort of bashed Ajdaha in a version trailer I watched it out of context, still don't know the context. I wasn't a fan of his voice acting and the trailer edits, usually they're bangers, but in that one with him, it wasn't their best one. I'm just being real with you. That's how I felt about it. But that does not change my opinion of the overall story because I don't know it yet. <laughs> I have to actually experience it first and I'm looking forward to doing that. And just this song alone, gave me like faith like gave me hope that oh man like i'm i'm excited to actually see these interactions and to find out more about all of this i'm sure many of you are going to give me history lessons in the comments down below you can if you want can't guarantee i'll read it because i do want to experience it on my own so thank you <laughs> but anyway Thank you so much for joining me. This was great. If you want to support me, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Share the video, like it, all that good stuff. And if you're financially able, you can sign up to become a member or join my Patreon. And that way you can get other videos and early access and all that good stuff. But that's it for me. Thank you so much for joining me as always. My throat's trying to kill me. I gotta go. Shine on you crazy diamonds. Later.